Hello again, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Yeah. In a previous video, we discussed using yum to install software. We'll build on that by adding in a new repository to the server so we can do a MySQL installation. The default Oracle Linux 7 repository doesn't have any MySQL server packages. This is because Red Hat 7 went with the MariaDB fork of MySQL, so Oracle Linux does the same. The etc yum.repos.d directory contains a repo file that defines the public yum repositories we're using. We can edit this file to give us access to a MySQL 5.6 repository. We find the relevant entry and just flip the enabled flag to 1. If we check for MySQL packages again, we can now see we have a MySQL community server package, and that's version 5.6. Let's undo the change we just made to disable the 5.6 repository. Instead, I've downloaded a repository RPM from dev.mysql.com and I'm going to install that. Once the RPM is installed, we can see we have some new repo files. Checking for MySQL packages again, we can see we now have access to the MySQL community server package for version 5.7. We install the package using yum install. The minus Y option just means it won't wait at any user prompts. We now enable, start and check the status of the MySQL D service. Unlike previous versions, MySQL 5.7 has a temporary root password set on installation. We can find this by grepping it out of the mysqld.log file. Once we have the root password, we can run the MySQL secure installation script. Log in with the temporary root password, supply a new root password, and then you should probably answer yes to all the questions that are asked by the script. So there you have it. A basic installation of MySQL from a YUM repository. You will need to do some post-installation configuration, but that's beyond the scope of this video. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.